Hey, John Ferraro, and today I'm going to be talking about how to optimize your muscle gain, how to make sure you keep growing and to keep getting bigger and bigger while you're putting the right work, the right food, and the right habits to make sure you get the gains you want. So you're looking to optimize your week with your muscle gains to make sure you keep packing on lean muscle tissue as quickly as possible. The number one principle, you've probably heard this from other people, is a progressive overload. If you're able to do this correctly, it'll make sure you keep moving forward week in, week out for a long term. This does get more difficult as time goes and gains do slow down. Let me show you some quick, easy ways to get the progressive overload into all of your workouts. One, repeating a week's workout the next week. This is gonna be the easiest way to make sure you have a progressive overload. You take the exact same workout that you did in week one in week two. Now on every exercise, you either wanna use the same weight or increase the weight. If you use the same weight, the goal is to get a couple more reps. The other thing you can do is you can up the weight. And so in week two, when you go a little bit more weight on each exercise, that's gonna definitely give you a progressive overload. The next piece you could do is slow down the exercise from the week A to week B. You're using the same weight, you're doing the same reps, but you're going slower on the eccentric, the lowering, the negative, whatever you wanna call it, but you're gonna have more time under tension. That's an overload. The next thing you could do is in week two, you can add an extra set. So you start off with the same weight and the same reps you're doing. So say you did four sets of 12, now you're gonna do five sets of 12. That's more volume. So these are all different ways to progressively overload your body. Now regularly, you wanna keep doing this in a linear fashion. Linear is a straight line. And as long as you're making progress and you're able to overload each week, you can just keep going up in a slow fashion. At some point or another, you're gonna hit a wall and you're not gonna be able to make progress. Your body will stop reacting or you won't be able to get to the next barrier. That's where you need to have the plateau busters. This is another thing you can do to make sure you overload. Put together your linear fashion first, so you're moving up each week, then you wanna find those plateau busters after somewhere six to 16 weeks, whenever you stop making progress. What you can do by changing up is first, you can change your split, which muscles you're hitting on which days, how many days you're working out, what your rest is. The next piece you're gonna look at is going to be the amount of volume you're doing, the total amount of sets and how much time you use in each set and the intensity. So yes, a set of three reps is gonna be a lot quicker than a set of 20, but the intensity is so much higher in three reps than 20, you're gonna have a lot more strain on the system. But now this is just looking at the workouts to make sure you're progressive overload. The other big piece to make sure you're getting muscle is nutrition. If you're not hitting the basic numbers, and making sure you're at least getting your minimals hit, there's no way your body can rebuild from nothing. Secondly is sleep. Without sleep, you're not gonna be able to recoup the way you want. And that rejuvenation you get in your good REM sleep is where all your HGH is released, it's where your body creates testosterone, and that's where your body rebuilds everything you tore down in the gym. So make sure sleep is good. And lastly is water. If you're not hydrated, it's much more difficult to get the gains you want compared to when you're hydrated. Think of a piece of beef jerky compared to a piece of fish. One is hydrated, one is not. And that's that movable, nice tissue that you wanna have that keeps growing so you can keep getting bigger and bigger. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comments below what you struggle with the most in gaining muscle. If you're not seeing the scale move, it's definitely the nutrition. If you're not seeing your lifts go up, then we gotta look at the rep scheme. We have to look at the exercise you're doing and your execution. If you're not feeling good, you're not having the energy, let's look at your sleep, stress, and water. So all these pieces are gonna play into your overall homeostasis and the gains you make. So let me know what you're struggling with and I'll put together some content and some pieces that I can help you get to your goals. Stay healthy, my friends.